Hi and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. As you know, on these we take a look at technologies, generally gaming products. But today we're going to take a look at the new router here from Linksys, the 3200 ACM. I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and I'm going to show you how to firmware it to the open source firmware DD Wirt. This is one of the quickest routers on the market at the moment. It's boasting a dual core 1.8 gigahertz CPU, 512 memory. It's a tri-stream 160 width, two times bandwidth at five gigahertz, which gives you a throughput of around 2.6 gig per second. And it also contains the MIMO technology, which allows you to have multiple streams without reducing the bandwidth. So the packaging here from Linksys is very good. It's a little bit bare inside, but you can see you get four antennas, you get the router itself. You get a manual. You get the four antennas here that screw into the side of it. Those are adjustable as all of them seem to be to be able to pin them up. You get a ethernet cable here, RJ45. I don't know why I ended up here with the Linksys power supply for a non-UK, but I did. You also get a CD-ROM. Don't know who uses those, but hey, who knows? So getting into here, the process to update this router. One of the things to note is this router is new at the moment and it does have some bugs. So on the back here of the router, you've got four one gig ethernet ports and one one internet port at a gig. You've got one USB 3.0 port. You've got one combo USB 2 and ESAT port. You've got a reset button, a power port, power switch, a Wi-Fi protection setup button. On the front here, you've got an internet activity light, power indicator, a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and a five gigahertz Wi-Fi indicator with the ESAT USB port one and two, along with the ethernet ports and the WPS indicator. So there's a few ways to get into this router. One is you can use an iPhone, as you've seen here in the video below as well. Although one thing to note is the iPhone browser is not compatible with this Linksys router, the iPad is. So you can download an app from the app store for the iPhone, but the uh, the app doesn't allow you to change things like the IP address of the router. So it's very basic configuration like parental access. So to set up this router, you're gonna need a laptop or an iPad or something with a more compatible browser. I don't have an Android phone here to test it. So that's just something to bear in mind. You can set it up via Wi-Fi or you can set it up via ethernet, which is why I'm on here. Uh, I have changed the IP address up here from 192.168.1.1, which is the default. Um, I've given it a static IP. You will get the same page, which is what it looks like here. This is what the page looks like. The default password for this Linksys is admin or lowercase. And this is what you presented with when you log in. So I'm not going to show you in here how to set up this router for the general configuration. The idea of this tutorial is to show you how to firmware it from the default Linksys firmware to the um, open source DD work firmware. That gives you more functionality above and beyond what Linksys already provide. So this is, I've got a uh, AC network, it's four antenna. It's very good for wireless. I've had some issues with it for performance, which it was dropping out. And um, it's worth checking in the forums before you do go ahead and purchase this, unless you have already. And if you are finding some issues, Linksys are meant to be working on it. And um, at the moment, I'm not using this router because of that issue. So that's something to bear in mind. This is done in April, 2017. And the issue has been reported from about January. 2017 as well. The issue is with the custom firmware. I don't think it's with the standard Linksys software. So what you need to do, you need to go to the firmware page, type DD work. You'll basically find it here. Unleash your router, or router if you're American. Find out the router that you want. So you go to router database, type in the one you want. This is a WRT3200 ECM. This is a very new router. You can see here it picks it up straight away. So it's supported. There's no activation. Click on that link. It gives you the firmware. Check your build. There's only one build at the moment for this router. What you want is the factory 2 ddwork.bin. Download the bin file. Once this bin file is downloaded into your Linksys router, go into connectivity. And here you'll be presented with the basic options, which include the firmware update, which is the automatic update for the standard firmware. And you've got this manual install. So click manual, click choose, locate the file that you've downloaded, obviously. Click OK, and then click start. So it takes an unrecognized file. And you've got this progression bar. Do not unplug the router at any point in time now, because you can destroy it, or bricking as it's called. 
you look for flash routers online you'll see a lot of support for this kind of firmware there's also tomato which you can see i've got my other router on up here usb and this is one i'm currently running but this dd work is just as good router is now going to reboot once the router is rebooted you'll be presented with this page now instead of the original one as you can see here it's going to ask you for a username and password so just type in what you want admin so i don't care on this one change password and now you're into your new ddwork.com customized firmware for your linksys 3200 ecm so hope you like this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see some more let me know i'll catch you later bye, -bye.